Hello everybody, welcome back to part three here for Grey Hack. Let's get our machine booted up and pick up where we left off. And now those of you who've been watching the series, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, been over the last two parts or so uh, pretty impressed with, with Grey Hack, all things considered. I am comparing it to other um, hacker themed games, which I review just for fun. Um, it's very rare to find any that are um, that I would consider to be a good learning tool. Um, so uh, if you are watching this, you may uh, have asked or be asking yourself, you know, how do we um, practice, train, whatever you want to uh, call it as far as our um, red team skills go or pen testing skills? Um, and if... Uh, you're not familiar with that um you know what we're talking about is our offensive security skills so our our ability to break into things which is an important and and perfectly normal part of uh beca being a cybersecurity professional now there are some people who specialize in that just like there are in, in every field um but by and large the best way to know how to protect something is to know how to break it and um even um even organizations that that don't have dedicated in-house pen testers will occasionally require some kind of pen test um, or even developing a proof of concept against a vulnerability if one um, is potentially out there so um, how do we normally practice this kind of thing uh, we don't we don't have a game or a training program that we use uh, what we'll do is we'll participate in ctfs which are capture the flag events or we will <clears throat> excuse me or we will take advantage of um, corpora Corpora um, or scenarios that are developed for uh, learning purposes. So we can essentially find targets uh, that are ethical to attack because they're designed to be attacked. Uh, and we do this with places like uh, Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. Um, for my own students in my own offensive security classes, I use um, Hack the Box, but only because, well, I like their scenario and I like the UI of their site, but also because they allow me to create a team for my university um, so students can come and join the team and then that way I can you know catch their progress and stuff and it's a lot easier to do that than it is for me to stand up my own vulnerable assets with my own scenarios and my own virtual lab um, which I I do sometimes um, but this is a lot easier um, and all that so if uh, if you're familiar with that or you're curious about that I should say uh, feel free to check those out um, it's a good place to start with your, your hacking journey. If you do want to learn to do it, um, just make sure that it's all ethical and above board. I uh, know you may be wondering, you know, why I'm not doing videos on that. Uh, and well, as I said before, I do these games as kind of a side project just for fun because I like the theme. Um, and honestly, sometimes it's a good laugh to see some of these games. Um, but uh, also because those um, scenarios, the sites, are for learning purposes, specifically for learning and practice, uh, it is actually against their terms of service to publish any write-ups or videos until after a um, challenge scenario has been retired. Um, and so it would be unethical of me to do videos on them while they're still up. And I just don't I'm not, I'm not going to do the, I do the challenges. I'm on those sites. You can find me on there maybe if you're lucky. Um, but, uh, I'm not going to do a challenge, record it, and then sit on it until the, the, uh, scenario is eventually retired. Um, I just don't have that. I, I got enough irons in the fire. I don't need to start thinking about that too. And, um, and having videos that I may never publish just sitting around gathering dust. So, Okay, so that said, uh, let's get back to doing what we were doing. And honestly, I don't remember what we were doing. Um, let's see. Uh, we had finished. Okay, this is from the scenario we finished. I rec oh, that's right. Uh, we had a. Um, we had a log out there that we needed to get rid of. Um, Okay, there's the initial one for that. That's the Anbor account. This is our fish with the password. Uh, client wants to change some grades on his academic record. 
the remote IP of the victim, the LAN address where the database is located. If you cannot access the directory, try to work, try to access through a teacher's computer in the local network. The record to modify belongs to Robbie four three. Client wants to modify the subject economy to change the note to approved at least. Uh, client wants to modify the information of a police record. The one IP of the victim is here. Okay. So we had new challenges. I'm not sure how important it is for us to go back and erase that system log. They told us to do it, but we need to elevate our privacy. to do Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. I was, um, I was looking at the exploits. Um, this one was a remote exploit. I, don't, I can't remember. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I keep getting the map and the browser confused just simply because of the icon. Um, let's go there. This is where the exploits were. Uh, it was libssh100, if I remember correctly. Okay, um, so we have local access. Now, these are just SSH exploits, though, and we don't really need that because we already have shell access. What we really want to do... I think we were looking at meta exploits last time, if I remember correctly. It, it hasn't been that long, and yet... Uh, and yet I don't recall... Um, what we were doing. I know that I was looking at exploits and they were all remote use and they were all, we were only looking at uh, SSH exploits. Um, honestly, I don't, I can't remember. Um, so I'm just going to move, I'm just going to move ahead and uh, we'll come back to it. I'm just going to leave that information up for now. I, I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. Um, so of the two choices I have, um, I mean, obviously, both of these are bad things you shouldn't do. Um, this one seems much simpler, but it also seems a lot more unethical than this one. So let's do this one, then. Copy that. I'm going to do this task two. Um, local address. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Ah. Uh, Make it faster than that. Okay. Robbie fourth we economy, not economics, economy. All right. Let's start with uh, an end map here. Got some services running, and some TP HTTP students and employees. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what the students and employees are. Um, all right, so let's actually start. Uh, let's go back to our browser here. Back to our exploits. I, I want to see. I want to see about these. We do have SMTP version one oh oh. Unlike a lot of um, hacker themed games, uh, we were warned about being tracked by administrators if i remember correctly last time um but we weren't told that there's like a like a, a notoriety meter or anything like i see in so many other games so um so i'm not sure what we need to worry about here if there's going to be any indicator or not this game seems to be um a lot more independent than anything else how are all oh okay uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, take advantage of one of service and inject a new password to a registered user. Uh, I don't know any user accounts just yet. Take advantage of one of the user password. Registered. Don't know a user yet. It's necessary to have the decipher program installed in the. Okay, we have that. All right. Well, we have a decipher. Um, so it looks like we're okay here. Oops. Save. Okay. Uh, so, I think that was downloads, right? Oh, no. There it is. Triad. IP address. 
port 25. Uh, can't find. Oh, that's right. I think we had to get this as well. And. Searching required library found. Starting attack failed. No active root user found. Program ended. Um, I didn't say that I needed. Oh, I see. I didn't scroll up. Um, okay, so there's no root user logged in right. Okay. Um, don't have the user account yet. Same problem as before. Um, that might be worthwhile. Or at least give me a user. Nope. Um, well, this looks promising. It's expensive. Okay. No active user found, so there's no user logged into the system right now. Okay. Uh, there's nobody logged in. No. Bank credentials. Take advantage of the I think we'll have to go back to the boot scan. Um, minimum number of two registers or users registered. Let's try that. There we go. Privileges obtained from user guest. Wait, I forgot what I'm doing. Uh, uh, I forgot what it is. The LAN address is beginning to be accessed through the teacher's computer on the local. We were able to access it, but we may not have that much access. Let's see. Okay, doesn't look good. Oops. Nothing, huh? Okay. Um. Well, let's see. God damn it. Okay, these are our accounts. Okay, now we have user accounts. Um, uh, let's see, non root. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oops. Okay. Um, I am going to actually go back here. I'm going to try eBay just because I'm curious about that. That's not what I wanted.
Permission denied. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I have access to it. What are you talking about? There's no permission issue there. <laughs> okay. Can't get to etc. Get the bar. Come back to that. Oops. Students viewer and employee viewer. Okay, let's try students viewer. Can't watch. Okay. Well, I mean that makes sense. Um. Wow. What? Cat is on the list. I couldn't I cat before. Okay. Am I thinking of a different game? There was another game, perhaps, where I was trying to run cat and it wasn't working. Um. Okay, anyways, so those are the, the bins we need, I, I think. Uh, we just need to get an account with permission to do so. And again, at this point, what I would be doing is looking for an exploit, but I would be looking for an escalation exploit. exploit um, more than anything else. But I can't... Um, I'm just curious. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. There were other services that were running. Um, well, hold on. Before I move away, let me let me do my due diligence here first. Okay. So, um, oh, that is the end. Okay. Take a look at your other router. Um, also, we can um, drop in what was it? Scanland? Because he did mention something in the email about um, accessing a teacher's computer. Which, I mean, there is one more. Which we can reach. What's this? Show local IPs. Oh! Show submits. Oh. Neat. Um, okay. I'm going to need to probably move this over as well. Okay. Did I not have... There it is. No open ports. Okay. I mean, okay. Damn it, there. A lot of a lot of work to get permission denied because that's exactly what I expect. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Um, where was I? Something I was going to do. But then I got caught up with my own typos. Um, oh, right. Uh, excuse me. Um, 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 what was I going to do? I don't remember. Hold on a sec. It'll come to me. Um, oh, uh, that's right. What's it's so weird how there are some commands that I can run and some that I can't. It's also weird that it has a command buffer and extends beyond um, the context. God, strange. Okay, it's just hard to, you know, like which. Um, anyway, uh, it's just hard which, uh, commands are available and which aren't, but it's also hard to know which is like, should be here, but aren't, and which I think are there, but aren't because I switch between, um, operating systems so much all the time. Um, oh, that's right. And then there was also, uh, the admin monitor, um, Did I not get that lesson? I don't know if I did or not. And of course, these aren't sorted alphabetically, so. Um, okay. What was I doing now? Inside track. Uh, um. Oh, that's right. We did see that HTTP was also a service there, so I'm not expecting to get anything different because all the exploits look like different, very uh, different. Uh, there's like four different types, and they're otherwise all identical, I think. Um, any user logged into the computer. There's nobody logged in right now that I can recall. Of course, I mean, I do have. I do have a session open right now, so maybe that will work. Any user logged into the computer? It's a bank details one. It's just like when I was searching for the bank account or the email uh, service. Um, like a bunch of options come up, but they're all exactly the same. Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Um, okay. So, it doesn't look like there's going to be a difference between uh, the service that I pick here because the exploits are all essentially identical, regardless. So that's fine. Um, well, I mean, I know... Which one did I... I already had one. It was... That one, that was for a root user. That one I don't have. Do you have eBase? That one I did get. Um, okay, I'm going to get this one and we'll try this. Um, simply because I do have a guest session open, but again, the exploit's not really going into detail because it can't, because they're sort of like generic variants. Uh, of the same sort of thing, but I do have a session open here, so that might be fine. Oops, I did it again. Uh, base. Enter a new password. 
the most secure password. Failed, no active use. So, okay. Then the guest session that I have open doesn't count for the purposes of, of this, then. Okay. Um, do I need to go the uh, social engineering route here? I wonder. There's a user logged in, then that's not going to do it. Uh, do do. Any user logged into the computer? We already know that doesn't count. We don't care about this. Okay. Did I ever get admin mod? I guess not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this over in user bin. I don't know if it's not. I don't, I don't know how it works yet. So again, this admin monitor, from what I recall from part two, um, was like one of the most fictionalized parts of the game so far. So I don't know how it works or what it's supposed to do or anything just yet. Okay. Um, I could, well, a sniffer would be bad. I mean, if I want to get on that, that other local computer, But is it connected to a hub? This is a switch. It's a router, not a hub. Still. Still goodbye. It'll definitely be handy later on. Where's the, there it is. Wait, no, what was that? Back here, okay. Um, analyze the provided library to search for vulnerabilities. I thought we already had that. Uh, oh, okay. I see what it's supposed to be. Connects to a router via its local or public information. There's firewall configuration and kernel version. Oh, that's free. Yeah, I will. I, I'm going to put this in town. So. Oh, that's why SMTP. <laughs> that's why SMTP user list didn't work last time. It's in my downloads folder. Oh, wait, I'm on the box here. Uh, I'll see there. It's the user accounts, but that's not particularly useful to me right now. Um, kernel router. Version 100. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second as long as I don't forget. Cypher, we've got that. We've got. Okay, that's a listener. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go to kernel router version 100. Let's see what we got to do. Yeah, just it's the exploit is just get access to a shell. That's all you gotta do. Just run this. Many of them are like that. Change all firewall entries to allowed. We don't have to worry about that because there's no firewall rules. Uh grant access to the computer connected to the router in a specified address and grant access to the etc. password and decipher its contents. It's necessary to have the decipher program installed. In the computer that launched the exploit. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe that's also why it didn't work the last time I ran it because I think that I have my copy of the cipher. Uh, yes, buy this from the downloads. Yeah, I have my copy of decipher in my downloads path, so it, it may not have worked when I did it before because it doesn't have. It's not in the execute path. 
Um, okay, there's this here. We want, I think it's, yeah, Riffig. And the address there. Enter a land address 192168003. Post computer, not in the same. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, that's what I thought. I was, I was about to say, I have a lot of shit open right now. Nope. Huh? Oh, okay. All right. Now that we are connected and have our thing. Oh, really? Uh, I need to probably take a second to organize all my stuff here. Um, oh, wait. Two, one, six, eight. Oh, that three. I need the crypto library too. Okay. Oh, wait, I already have that one. Never mind. Peterson, music guest, can't read. Mission denied. Oh, okay. Well, then that was not worth it at all, was it? Um, all so many of these are just get access to a shell. That's all I got to do. Okay, then I will. Do I at least have to be connected to the same network? We'll find out. <laughs> what was that called again? That's <laughs> really? Why is there a desktop on a router? Damn, it's hard to type around a microphone. All right, router configuration. Okay.
Oops. Much less on this than there was. Okay. All right, well, we're poking at around at it here a little bit. I'm still learning some of the mechanics of the game. The, the thing that I would normally do next in real life doesn't seem to be an option, or if it is, I'm just not getting the... Um, design, I guess, uh, is what I'm... Uh, I, I guess is what I mean. Um, but... Um, I do feel like I'm learning the systems here. Le learning how to do this within the context of the game, which is promising. Uh, but that said, uh, I've been doing this for about 35 minutes right now, and I have a meeting to go to. So I'm going to call that for part three. Uh, we will continue with uh, our unethical practice of trying to change grades for a poor student um, next time.